leaving the job. Look what's left here in the road, in the sky. See this? <laughs> they really do not like me at all. <laughs> it's so funny. But they can't do anything to me. I belong to God. And you see him in his little airplane over there? He's trying to shoot it. They're trying so hard, man. They really don't like me. They're gonna lose. They know it. They already lost. They lost when Jesus died on the cross. All this is fear. This is fear-mongering. Is uh, the best thing to call it is fear-mongering. Itself. There's really nothing an individual has to do to show you. Here it is. See, and they know the exact ways that I go for lunch. They're tapping my phone. They see what my plans are. You see that? All the way there. Look at all this here. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. This is all to put fear in your heart. And I can tell you right now, I have no fear of these people. I'm not scared of them, not even a half a per not even a, nothing, zero. There's no fear in me. I don't fear anything that they're trying to do to me. That's the key to fighting them, is you can't be scared of them. And you do don't let whatever they're doing to you, whatever they're doing, don't let it get to you. Don't accept it. Know that God is greater in you than in the, than what is in this world. God is greater than you, than you. to clean the window up a little bit so you can really see it good. See, they put that big truck going that way because I'm about to go and take a look at some apartments that are close to my job and uh, get some leasing information. So they're tapping my phone. They're saying they know that I'm going to go there on my lunch break. And as you can see, all you have to do is follow this white line directly to where I'm about to go, okay? <laughs> and look, this is, God, they really, they just gave me some really good evidence today. You didn't get no better than this. Look at that line over there. They're telling me it's normal that everywhere you go you have the stuff in the sky. You got airplanes following you, flying over you with their engines up all loud, you know, purposely harassing you. I mean, it's, it's all actually it's all quite funny. It's comical that they think that they can affect me. It really is quite comical. Guys, I have to make a legal turn. Y'all didn't see me do this. Ah, shit. Why don't you check it out? It's going to directly where these apartments are that I'm about to go to. That is a huge chemtrail that is now, it's, you know, if it's a con, you tell me that airplane contrails, are they supposed to do that? Are they supposed to get wider and wider and then come down on you? They're purely gassing me. They're trying to, but it's not going to work. I have been going, driving through this stuff for the past year and a half of my life, and it 
didn't hurt me then, it's not going to hurt me now. It'll never hurt me because I belong to God. And everything that they're doing is just, like I told you, it's to put fear in your heart. It's to make you scared, to make you unsecure, and to make you feel like, you know... Ooh, and then look, as you can see, they are shooting one directly over right now. As we speak, they're shooting one directly over. When I get there, I'll shoot it. I don't know if you can see it from here, but... They are shooting one directly over the apartments in which I'm about to go and take a look at. This is beautiful. Look, I roll my window down. I don't care. I'm not scared. God is with me. God is greater than these, these fear mongers. Look at this. Look at how he's... Uh, that's going to let Satan in to your life. And that's exactly what Satan wants to do. Look, as we speak, he's spraying the trail. You see him? That's the long white trail right there, directly over the apartments I'm about to go to. everything up that they're spraying and smile because I know greater is in me than is in this world. This is so beautiful. I always ask God, I want to be one of your soldiers. I want to fight Satan. I, I want to be one of the ones that really gives Satan a run for his money. And God answered my prayers. He put me right in the middle of this war to test my faith to test my strength, and I, I love it. I love the persecution. Thank you, Father. Just like they persecuted Jesus, they're gonna persecute me. Just like they hated Jesus, they hate me. You know, they're hacking my computer. I'm trying to put these uh, YouTube videos up to try to show everybody. When I try to do the uploads, they kill my uploads. They won't let me upload the videos. They, uh, they make my computer get stuck. Like, you know, I have to restart it. You know, it's just it's all stuff to try to slow you down because they don't want you to succeed. They want you to, they, this is what their plan is, to chem the hell out of me everywhere I go. And then after they're, uh, you know, chemming the hell out of me and I, I take the pictures and I want to go put them on YouTube, they stop me from putting the YouTube videos up slow me down and then just try to constantly hit me, hit me, hit me, hoping that they'll kill me. You know, that's that's what they're hoping. But it's not going to work. They've been doing this to me for a year and a half. I'm still here. I'm still healthy. I can go outside. I can run a mile easy. Uh, my mind is still clear. I still think thoughts quickly. I'm not affected by what they do because I truly believe that Jesus Christ is greater than these people. I know, I know, I mean, he died on the cross. When he did that, it defeated them. But they, they, and they, they know this. So all they're trying to 